My name is Dr. Thomas. And I'm Alo Davis. And today we're going to um, show you how to build a Cozy Rosenthal Thomas uh, HEPA air filtration device. To create this device, uh, we, only need, we need a filter and we need a fan and we need some good old gaffer tape. We're going to start with the filters. Uh, the first job is to take the top off or cut the top off the box. We're going to use this top, this box again for making the filter. And these filters are 3M filters, 20 by 25 inches, um, 20 by 20 inches are also fine. Yeah, um, and these filters are quite important actually, it's a key component of this device and you need a special type of filter that can filter out viruses obviously. So and to get that you need either HEPA filters or these are MERV 13 filters and they're adequate for what we want to do. They'll, they'll filter not just viruses but bacteria, all the other pathogens uh, from the air. We need four filters uh, to be able to do this type of device. Um, the key thing with the filters is, is that you correctly install the filters so that they are, because they're unidirectional, air has to go in this way and, can, and come out this way, okay? And if you follow the arrow for this. So you've got to make sure that the arrow is the correct way around when we actually in, uh, create the base. They go to, together to make a box and that's the base for the device. Yeah, so that's the base of the device. So we tape this, uh, these together now and make sure there's a nice seal so no air can come through through the gaps and all the air has to go through the filter and that will create the base uh, for our filter. So the good thing with this device is that we reuse all, uh, all the packaging that uh, the uh, parts have come in. Um, so the, the cardboard that the filters came in we cut that uh, piece of cardboard down to the size of the base and, and that is the base for our device then. Um, and absolutely obvious nothing is then is wasted uh, from everything that's arrived. Right, so the easiest way to build this cube is to carefully tack the corners together with a little bit of tape, ensuring of course that the arrows point inwards on the filters. We'll tape off all four sides, ensuring that it is completely sealed. And the seal is so important because the, eye, the air preferentially would go through the gaps rather than through the filter because it's less resistance. Um, and once we've got that sealed then, then we can ensure then that all the air goes through the filter and then that's actually obviously being cleaned then um, with the filter. Once we've created that, you can see we've actually got quite a stable structure here. So it's stable enough so that we can actually put the fan which, which is going to go on top. The next step is to use the cardboard that we saved from the packaging to make the top and the base for the Corsi Rosenthal Thomas filter. Um, so I'm just going to mark out the size here. Now, you need two of these. One to make the base, and that will be stuck on again using gaffer tape. And then we need another to make the top of the filter box when we turn it over. So the next stage is to cut a hole to take the fan to go on the top of the box. And I'll do this by marking out the center, as I've done already here. And then I'm lucky enough to have a trammel to mark the circle, but you could easily do this with two pencils and a piece of string, um, or take them to a ruler and mark out the circle then carefully cut out the circle. Uh, so what we usually find is, is if, um, if, they, if they say it's an 18 inch fan, that this circle actually, the diameter of the circle would be about 20 inches, just for you to have an idea about the size of the uh, cutout you're going to need. So this is going to be the base um, for the box and then this is going to be the top where the fan sits. So it's important again, when you're putting the bases on, that this is completely sealed, uh, all four sides, to, um, to seal this so no air can come through the base. So we're going to put the top on. Uh, the important thing is only to seal three sides first before you put the fan in, okay? Um, it's important that you leave one side free so that you can pull the cables out. So this is the last thing we're going to do. 
So um, you take the fan out of its packaging and then place it on the top. The other important thing to do with this um, when you insert it is the, you, you put the correct setting on the speed of the fan and what we found is uh, that the, the lowest setting is more than enough. But also the advantage of having the lowest setting as well is actually it's going to be quieter, which is key actually for the children who are learning there. One of the final bits then to do uh, um, is to tape the fourth side down, the final side down. So um, one final thing to do, make sure that the fan is actually in place and sealed and held in place, is to tape around the sides here to hold it down. And the easiest way I've found to do this is to cut your tape in small sections and then gradually work your way around, ensuring that there's a good seal all the way around the fan. So the type of fan we're using is actually quite important, we found um, with the experimentations, um, and that these are high velocity fall fans. They throw a lot of air, and they're very cheap to be able to buy as well. So that's it, um, so uh, that's the completed unit. Uh, so this is, uh, this is the Cozy Rose Little Thomas. Davis, as we were just saying just now, and um, yeah, that's it. Really simple and incredibly powerful. Um, this throws 1154 cubic meters of fresh air through the room, and when you compare it with a competition, you know, so as Dyson say, which only throws 70 cubic meters, it's incredible.